Hi, Jessica Lyon here with another Tool Tip Tuesday. Today's video we're going to cover the People, Radar, and Minimap panels. The People panel can be accessed with a shortcut of Control, Shift, A, or Command on a Mac, whereas the Radar panel has to be accessed through the Toolbar button. So we'll just go in here, the button is right here, Radar, I'll just drag it here for now. This is what the radar panel looks like, and as you can see, they look very similar. The uh, difference is that the people panel has more functionality, and for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to cover the people panel. But know that the options are all the same. If you're using the vintage skin, however, you'll notice that we don't have the same buttons here, but that's okay because most of the same options can be found under this tab here with what we're going to cover. But for this tutorial, I'm going to cover things on the uh, default skin. So here we find ourselves in the ever popular region of London City, what better place to demonstrate radar functionality. Lots to cover, let's get started. Let's quickly go over columns. First column is the avatar name, pretty obvious. Next is voice. If there's a microphone, they have voice enabled. If there's a microphone and animation, they're actually speaking. One after that is uh, if they're in your region. Green dot means they're in your region. No dot means they're in a neighboring region. After that is whether they're typing. The next one is if they're sitting. The one after that is if they have payment info on file with Linden Lab. Finally, there's the avatar has notes. If you didn't know, you can actually create notes that only you can see on people's avatars. That's useful for keeping track of things. Then there's avatar age and then scene which indicates how long ago they fell into your draw distance and finally avatar range this is their distance from your avatar if it's green it indicates they're within chat range 20 meters. A lot of people don't know this but there's a whole world of options out of this button right here including enabling or disabling some of these columns. Here are the names of the columns and so for example I don't leave notes for people so I can remove that column. Uh, I'll go to another one uh, that I don't use. I don't use scene very often, so I'll take that out. And uh, I can just keep on going here. So same region. And you'll see that it actually starts to clear up more space for you here. Let's cover some of the other options in this menu. So the first one is show mini map of radar. Self-explanatory. The next one is limit results to a specific radius. This is useful if you want to reduce the amount of listings that you have showing up here. After that is show muted and blacklisted avatars. This lets you visually see the avatars you've muted, but you still won't be able to hear them. For radar name format, if you have display names enabled here in preferences, then this gives you options on how, you will, how they will be displayed. The next one is displayed columns. We've already covered it. This lets you add and remove columns from the panel. Color names based on distance. This colors their names green when they're within your chat range. Next are the reporting options that, when enabled, notify you of specific events based on your preferences. You can have these report to nearby chat via text, through chat toast dialogues, and or with sounds by going to Preferences, Chat, Radar. You can also change the default sounds to any sound you have in your inventory, but I'll cover that in another video. Report Enter Exit Alert to Scripts is used for certain radar HUDs and reduces region lag, but if you don't have one of those HUDs, you don't need to enable it, it won't make a difference. Enhanced Radar with Bridge improves the radar's accuracy and provides better functionality in some cases. I'll cover Bridge in another tutorial. Finally, there is the Age Alert threshold. You can adjust this here. Now let's look at the right-click options, specifically Track and Mark. Let's start with Track. Track and Mark both tie into the minimap, so let's open the minimap with Control shift m the yellow ring here is your 10 meter chat range, and the red ring is your 100 meter shout range. Track and mark can be enabled and disabled from both radar and minimap right-click menus. Track draws a big vertical red and blue line around the avatar in question. This gives you a really quick way to get a broad idea of where in the region that avatar is. On the minimap, if they're in the same altitude as you, they'll have a circle around them. If they're above you, they'll have an up arrow, and if they're below you, they'll have a down arrow. You clear the track from the minimap by right-clicking anywhere and choosing Stop Tracking. Mark options let you color the avatar dots in the minimap differently from default and can be done from both radar and minimap right-click menus. This can be very useful when you want to be able to quickly differentiate the people around you on the minimap in a visual way. You can then clear the marks through the clear mark menu or clear all marks menu. Finally, two more really handy gems you might not have known about. Did you know you can invite people to groups through the nearby and friend tabs by right-clicking on their name, choosing invite to group, then choose the group you want them to be in and click OK. 
you'll then be presented with a new panel letting you choose the role you want them to be in before you click send invitations. Lastly, did you ever wonder what the recent tab was all about? This tab lists all the chat that has gone on during your current logged in session from local chats and instant message conversation. This gives you quick access to the profiles of those people and is also great when you accidentally close an IM with someone but you don't remember what their name is to get them back. It also shows you how long ago you last spoke with that person and conversations with people who are on your friends list are shown in bright color. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and especially that it helped you in some way. There's still so much I didn't cover though, so if you'd like to learn more about it, please visit our wiki page about the people panel listed below. Be sure to tune in next week as I cover what I consider to be one of the best features in Firestorm ever, contact sets. See you next week.